Hey guys, Jordan here, and I just wanted to give you guys another little update on how Wednesday night clicks went. Um, tonight was the first of the Infinity Gauntlet uh, tournament, or event. Uh, it was the first tournament in that, the whole eight month long campaign thing, all leading up to playing for Thanos and all that. Um, and I'm very pleased with how this first round went for me. Uh, at my shop, Time Warp Comics in Boulder, uh, we did 400 points constructed. So I went with an animal theme team. So I played with Man Beast, Man Wolf, Lockheed, Wolf Spain, and Rocket Raccoon. And uh, they did pretty well. Uh, I ended up going 2 and 1, and I had a lot of fun. And. Uh, I'll actually tell you about uh, one of my matches that I had probably the most fun playing all night. Like, one of the best matches I've had in a while. Uh, even though I ended up losing in the end, I played uh, Tyler. Uh, you've heard of him in my other videos, the guy that I never beat. <laughs> but, um, yeah, he's pretty good, and he had a very nice team constructed. He had a fantastic four team. And he was using Ghost Rider, uh, Bombastic Bagman, Wolverine, and Joe Fixit. So they all had the Fantastic Four team ability. Bombastic Bagman copied Ghost Rider's Mystics. So, you know, every time you hit Bombastic Bagman, then you take whatever damage you did to him, uh, plus one. So you're really hurting yourself pretty bad whenever you hit him. Luckily... I got very good Blades, Claws, Fangs with Wolfsbane, so she ended up taking out Bombastic Bagman and herself uh, fairly quickly. So that worked out nicely. Um, Manwolf kind of got knocked off of his uh, super god click where he has power cosmic and uh, running shot and penetrating psychic blast and all that. Uh, Lockheed... Uh, really just became mastermind fodder for Man Beast. But Man Beast and Rocket Raccoon really held their own, especially Rocket Raccoon. I really, really like this figure. He has probability control and outwit. So in the beginning, his probability control was very helpful in uh, landing some hits and uh, avoiding some. And then he did take some damage and then he ended up going one-on-one -on -one with uh, Joe Fixit when he was on, I believe, this click. So he was towards the end of his dial. He had the seven movement with running shot, uh, eight, da uh, eight attack, 14 defense with super senses, and two damage without wit. And he ended up getting something like eight or nine uh, super senses rolls in a row, and it was ridiculous. And he took out Joe Fixit all on his own. Little Rocket Raccoon here. So he was my MVP. It was a lot of fun. Um, I ended up taking out all of the Fantastic Four team, except for Ghost Rider. In the end, uh, Ghost Rider took out uh, Man Beast and Rocket Raccoon. And uh, couldn't pull out the victory, but still, it was a lot of fun. And the best part about going 2-1 and one in this was that I got some cool items. Uh, the first thing that I got was something that everybody who participated received, and that is the actual Infinity Gauntlet. And it's kind of like an event dial here. Uh, you roll... I haven't looked at all the rules yet, but from what I've browsed through, uh, you roll for it, or you choose it as an item, and you don't bring other items in. It's off the board like an event dial. And at the beginning of your turn, you roll a dice and you move it to the right... Uh, however many clicks that you rolled on your dice. And uh, it reveals different powers and stuff. And you have to have at least one gem. Like, we haven't gotten the gems yet. That's in later tournaments. But you have to have at least one gem to use it. Uh, then you can get all the other gems. So I plan on getting all the gems. And it does some really cool stuff. Just lets you use different powers and stuff. Um, like the gauntlet complete, if all six gems are attached, characters' powers and combat abilities can't be countered, and character can use willpower. So basically just giving them, like, power cosmic for anybody. So it's, looks like it's gonna be a very useful little item once it is complete. 
Um, kind of complicated. Um, I need to look over the rules a little more, but it looks like I'm going to have a lot of fun with this. And then going 2-1 and one actually put me in the top three uh, with my points and everything. So I won the Adam Warlock LE, which is very, very cool. Uh, you can see he has the Infinity Gauntlet on there, and he is a one-man army. He has Power Cosmic team ability there, so can't be outwitted, can push without taking damage, and his powers are kind of ridiculous. He's You can play him either 450 points or 250 and he has a special movement, Focus on Mind and Space. Adam Warlock can use Hypersonic Speed, Mind Control, Penetrating Psychic Blast, and Phasing Teleport. Uh, then he has an Attack Power, Focus on Soul and Time. Adam Warlock can use Incapacitate, Poison, Steel Energy, and Telekinesis. Then he has Supreme Being, Impervious, Immortal, and Vulnerability. Then Focus on Power and Reality is his special damage power. Adam Warlock can use Close Combat Expert, Probability Control, Range Combat Expert, and Shape Change. And again, since he is Power Cosmic, uh, <laughs> he can't have any of those ridiculous special powers outwitted. So, yeah, I'm actually really looking forward to using him uh, at his 450, or even his 250. I believe his dial is 10 clicks in, and uh, his 250 starts at click 4. So, still pretty good. He starts with that uh, attack power that gives him uh, incapacitate, poison, steel energy, and telekinesis, and uh, impervious. And he starts with 11 movement, 11 attack, 18 defense, and 5 damage. And then he has 10 range and can target 3 characters. And then if you start him at the very beginning, the 450... And then he starts with 13 movement with the movement power where he can use hypersonic speed, mind control, penetrating psychic blast, and phasing teleport. Then 12 attack, 19 defense with impervious, and 5 damage. So, very solid figure. Really glad to get him. So, that's definitely one of the highlights of the night. And then I actually had another highlight because there was another key issue that I saw at my store. Daredevil number 181, and this is the Death of Electra. So this was kind of a big deal when it came out, the Frank Miller run, and uh, Electra had just been introduced, uh, I think, issue 160-something. Not entirely sure, I'll have to look that up, but uh, 181 is her death, and this is an extremely clean copy. I got it for a really nice price. So, just another addition to my comic collection. And then just my regular pulls, some new DC-52 stuff. Then, uh, catching up with Chew, new Uncanny X-Force, that kind of stuff. So, really looking forward to reading all of that. And overall, Wednesday was a great night. So, thank you guys for watching, and please comment, rate, and subscribe.